A sheet of card or paper, some scissors and a glue stick. <laughs> Whoa! A heavy box! <laughs> some stickers and a pen. <laughs> we need a lot more things for this picture. I know. I'll call Scraps. <laughs> Hello, mm -hmm. Scraps. Now, we need lots of things that are made out of foil. Can you help? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow! Apple pie. Mm -hmm. My favourite. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that was lovely. And this foil case is perfect. But we need a lot more foil, please, Scraps. Mm -hmm. Go on, down you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, that's excellent. Excellent. Any more? What's he got here? What's he got? Oh, well done, Scraps. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> OK, then, Alex, let's make a foil animal picture like this one here. Oh, look, it's a foil dog. <laughs> All right, then, Alex, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Fantastic! Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is take a foil tray like this with a lid. Well, we're going to take this lid off and put it to one side because it's time to turn over the tray and we're going to squash it flat with a heavy book. Here we go. Whoa, that's nice and flat. Now, this is going to be the body of our dog. Let's put it over here. And now we need to squash some smaller cases. This is a great idea for recycling foil and foil containers that have been washed. You can turn them into something new. There, everything has been squashed. So let's move these pieces to the side. Now we're going to use these foil lids like the one from earlier. And these are going to make the other parts of the dog. Now, what shapes are on our dog? Let's have a look. Well, we've got triangle shapes for the tail and the feet and rectangle legs, a zigzag mouth and V-shaped ears. All right, then, Alex, let's cut out the dog's shapes. But we need to be careful with scissors because they are... Sharp. That's right. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Get yourself some scissors. Here's a card. And let's get cutting. If you haven't got foil lids, any type of card will do. And now it's time to build the foil dog. We're going to do this on dark paper, and it works really well because it makes our foil really stand out. So let's bring back in the pieces of the dog. And when you're happy with everything, stick it all down. Are you happy, Alex? Yeah. Good. Let's get it sticking. Right, can you put some glue on the back of that for me, please? That's it, put plenty on. Thank you. Let's make some eyes for our dog now. So, Alex, I'm going to give you these white stickers. Can you draw some dots in the middle, please, for pupils? Well done. Right, let's stick these on. And finally, we can make a bone shape from kitchen foil. There! And now we can stick this down onto the paper for our dog to chew. We're all finished. It's a fantastic foil dog. <laughs> and you can make all sorts of foil animals in the same way. How about a fierce foil cat using a round foil case and sparkly pipe cleaner whiskers? Or how about a mouse with a lump of cheese? Or you could try a spider with pipe cleaner legs. Try one today. They're great fun. Did you enjoy that then, Alex? Yeah. Brilliant. We made it. And now your home is where the art is. High five. Ah, well done. 
Great stuff, Alex. <coughs> Stay. 